Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models, and welcome to issue 67 of building the Batmobile Tumblr from Hachette. Uh, in this issue, we're starting a new thing. So all the old things have been put aside, and we're starting afresh, starting a new uh, with a new icon. There we go. It's the uh, 89. Yes, it says it up there. Look, that's uh, the 89 Batmobile from uh, Burton. I liked it. I quite liked it. I wouldn't mind building one of them. I wonder if they're going to do one at some point. I think someone's doing one. I think one of the manufacturers is making one, but I don't know. So yeah, it's quite nice, quite iconic. It go well with the other the other ones that I'm building. So there we go. Uh, we've got uh, oh Bane. There you go. Uh, the film that I'm watching at the moment, the uh, the Dark Knight Rises, the third one. Um, yeah, all good stuff. That's what we're doing, and then we're starting on the center console. Um, we've got the right side of the center console. Uh, not entirely certain what all the bits are, but I'm sure it will become clear as we're building it. That looks like little hinge pieces or control operation um, levers. I don't know, but uh, basically we're doing some stuff, installing that into this right side, uh, and then next time we've got the left side, which has got some different controls and buttons on it. Uh, whether we get to install this into the internals before we finish, I've got, oh, after this one, uh, there are three more issues in this pack, so uh, we'll see. But we won't see until we get to it, so let's put this one out of the way, and let's get to it now. Right, quite a lot of small fiddly parts to do this time, so we'll see how that works for me. Uh, we've got our big uh, centre console, <coughs> uh, but first of all, we're going to start off by putting these together. Uh, these are both the same, which I thought one would be the opposite of that, but it's not. They are both identical. Um, strange. Uh, we're fitting this into the middle of there. It's got a little notch, so it'll only go one way round. Um, if I can get that notch. Lines up on there. So it'll only go one way round. It goes on that way round like that. Uh, then that fits into there. Like that. And we break open our screws. The first of these DP screws. Uh, of which we're using, I think, three in total on this one. Get three out. Left me with at least one in there. Probably two. I don't know. So this is going to... Go through the end there and hold that together. That's the bit that I'm going to have trouble with. All the way around into there. There we go. That we'll hold that together. That tightened up because I'm going to be playing around with this bit in a moment, so I do need that to be secure. Uh, movement to that is that normal? Or have I not tightened it much? That's tight as that's going to go, so uh, I'm sure that will be okay. Uh, so that is that. Uh, next up, I like to turn over a single page instead of two. Makes life much easier. Uh, yeah, so that's that bit where you've got to put this together. We've got a little uh, interior piece goes onto that. Two little pins. Making that a bit wider. <coughs> there we go. Uh, and then the other side of that goes on there as well. Again, pins to hold that together. No screws required for that. A bit like that. Uh, then this little uh, extra switch piece pops onto the side there. All squeezed together, looking good like that. Uh, then that goes onto. That's got some movement to that as well, just like that. Uh, then the other side of that goes onto that. Like 
like that. So there we have. Uh, that's in the angles that it seems to be shown on there. I don't know why that's turning. I don't think that should. That still does as well. That notch is bigger than... Yeah, the notch is quite wide on that, so there's obviously designed to be a bit of movement. But this is some form of throp for that, and these are obviously other things connected as well. Uh, that doesn't do anything else on there. We've got to leave that aside. Obviously, the other side's going to hold all that together. Can't put the screw in there because the other plate's got to come next time. Uh, but for now, we've got two other pieces to put in. We've got a gear, which is interesting. It's going to go on there, and this post is going to go on there. And we've got the two screws that will hold those together. Uh, again, one on each. These are the screws that have got sort of little washers built into them. So that will uh, hold them together, stop them escaping, but enable them to turn. I'm not entirely certain what this gear is going to do. Um, Maybe the whole console sort of slides forwards and backwards. Because it certainly, when his seat sort of, uh, he almost lays down in front of this bit, doesn't he? Can't see to get that lined up here. So I shall do that. Unless it goes on this time. There we go. So that is that. I shall get those tightened up. But then this episode is completed. Uh, next time I think we get the other side, in fact I can have a look and see, yes, next time the other side and other bits to go onto there, so uh, I'll put this safely to one side, because otherwise these bits will fall off, and uh, continue very soon, so thank you for watching, stay safe, I'll see you for more very soon, bye bye for now. Oh,